Words cannot explain how much I've wanted to do this cake since I started posting these videos. I've seen it all over Pinterest and all over TikTok, and I'm so happy that I finally got an order for one. It is the Pinterest frog cake, or at least that's what I think it's called. So my first step was basing the entire cake in a light green icing, and then using blue, yellow, and red icing colors for the mushrooms on the side, and then a darker green for the frogs on top. Then I wrote happy birthday Gemma in that same blue and added pink hearts all around the cake. I hope you had an amazing birthday Gemma. Thank you so much for choosing this cake design. Let's see who can figure out which celebrity this cake is based off of simply by how it is decorated. This weekend we have a lot of cakes to make because it's Father's Day on Sunday and then also people still have birthdays. This is a custom cake with sweet cream ice cream, raspberries, and lots of graham cracker pie crust. We chopped it all together and we're going to mix it up and then we're going to scoop out half of it and put that in the bottom of the pan. Once that's smooth we can add our first layer of cake and then our mid layer. They chose yellow cake and a strawberry mid layer. We're gonna smooth out that second layer of ice cream and we're gonna add the second layer of cake. Then it's gonna chill in the blast. Once it's frozen, we're gonna take it out and pan it. Anyone else see that heart on top? They chose pink frosting, so we're gonna make some of that and then put it on top of our cake and smooth it all out. Then we're gonna add graham cracker pie crust. I chose to do it all the way up on the side on this one. Then I added a nice white border and we're gonna write happy birthday for them in red. Last night when I got to work, my coworker Kyla looked at me and goes, we're decorating a cake. And I was like, wait, what? Because Kyla doesn't decorate cakes. And she said, I took an order and we're going to decorate it together. So she's seen me do it a million times. So she kind of has an idea of what to do. But so we did it together and I walked her through some steps. But she actually did really well. But it was a little tricky because when you're training someone on cakes, it does take longer than normal. So that means the cake gets soft. And this cake had caramel mixed in. And when caramel starts to thaw, it likes to square out of the side. So we had to be careful and do some touch-ups along the way. But this is her learning how to do a border. Doing a border is a lot like piping. So as you know from that video, pressure control is the biggest thing. So just learning pressure control is so important with decorating cakes with a piping bag. And she wanted me to write on it instead of her. So this is me writing on the cake. So you guys have been asking for a weird combination for a cake, and in my opinion, this is a weird combination. I am not a big fan of apple pie, but this cake is sweet cream ice cream with caramel, cinnamon, and apple pie filling. So we add all the toppings in and mix it up like normal, and since you guys have been binge watching my videos, you know what comes next. It goes ice cream, cake, mid-layer, ice cream, cake again. And then they go into blast, then we're going to add our frosting, and then begin to wrap the cake in it. As you wrap it around the cake, you want to build a nice crown on top. And then we use that crown to make a nice smooth edge. And then we're adding graham cracker again. And then I drizzled some caramel on top. And then we did a nice border. Okay, to be honest, recording these videos and trying to decorate cakes is kind of hard sometimes. That's why the father's looks bad right here and that's why the caramel drizzle isn't that great either. But I did go back and fix father's. My cake decorator Jalen was out of town this weekend, but before she left, she made sure that we were really well stocked on cakes. But it just so happened, I had this really nice lady named Sarah come in today and she needed one of the only cakes that we sold out of. So I went to work and I made five small round cookies and creamery. Each cake gets six Oreo halves dipped in chocolate. And then they all get a layer of fluffy white frosting as corporate likes to call it. I'm gonna smooth that all out. Add our six pieces so we know where to put our Oreos when we top them. Then we're gonna pick it up and add our chocolate shavings to the side. Then we're gonna grab them out of the blast and it's time to top them. Each cake is topped with six rosettes and then six Oreo halves on top of those. And then we're gonna write happy birthday Connor on the one for Sarah. Jesse asked me to go grab a cake for her, but I was also building a cake. 
They wanted cake batter ice cream with sprinkles and Oreos mixed in. After I mix that all together, I'm gonna split that in half. That's gonna be our first layer of ice cream. Once we smooth that all out, it's time for our first layer of cake and then a mid layer of caramel. Next up is our next layer of ice cream and then our next layer of cake. And then that goes in the blast. Once it goes in the blast, it's time to do pan it and then decorate it. This one seemed pretty basic. On the order form, it was just white frosting and then sprinkles. But I've been trying to figure out how to do this for like the last week and I finally figured it out. And I thought it would pair well with the duos. So I did this star type of border on top. And then it was happy birthday in purple. And now that we're done, we're gonna put our dome on top and we're gonna take it out because she's here. This cake's a little different than the last few cakes I've done. This is a small rectangle themed cake. I don't really care for themed cakes because I have to follow a picture and make it look like something that's not from my head, but it can be fun sometimes. But I do enjoy doing rectangles. The corners are always so satisfying when you get them right. You can kind of see why I don't really enjoy doing these. I like doing big fun decorations and these are kind of boring. And for all those who asked what I do when I mess up on a cake when I'm writing, this is a good example. My five kind of looked like a six, so I had to make it work. Happy fifth birthday, Frankie. So today we have another cake. They called and asked us if they could pick it up a few hours earlier than they originally planned. So I hurry up and decorated it for them. That's why it looks a little bit rough. It's also Oreo frosting, and so the Oreo frosting never looks really that smooth. Then we had to mark our six sections so we could put all our Oreos on top. This cake has a layer of cake batter ice cream with regular Oreos in it, and then a layer of chocolate ice cream with golden Oreos in it. And then yellow cake, and then Oreo frosting on it. And then it gets topped with regular Oreos and golden Oreos. So it's a lot of Oreos going on. But this person agrees with me and they think that cake batter with this one is too sweet. So they got sweet cream ice cream instead. So it's a little less sweet for them. But they wanted all the rest to be the same. So we decorate it just like we normally would. And then they wanted happy birthday on it. This cake's kind of hard to write on because it's really small and I had a big tip on the frosting bag. Have you guys been watching the live streams? So on Friday, I discovered this thing called going live. I had no idea how to work it at first, but once we figured it out, it was actually a lot of fun. Now we've been going live a lot, and we actually decorated this cake on live. So make sure you're paying attention so you don't miss out. But this cake is for one of my favorite customers. We're gonna call her V, because I don't wanna say her name, but she's super cool, and she comes to us for all of her birthday cakes for everyone in her family. And they always get a small rectangle because they have kind of a large family. This one is a custom small rectangle, and they got white frosting on the outside with chocolate shavings around the side, and then a border on the top and the bottom. And then they always get cookie dough crumbled and sprinkled on top. This is the first time they've got a different cake from me in the last like three years. They always get a like all chocolate cake with ganache on it. But make sure you're staying tuned and you're watching the lives, they're a lot of fun. This is not a break or a goodbye. It is simply some distance I need to put between myself and TikTok. For those of you that don't know, I'm in grade 12, which means I need to focus really hard on my grades to get into the programs next year for university. Currently, I go to a self-paced school, which means tests and assignments are done at my own pace. This means that procrastination is sometimes inevitable. So please try to understand while I cram in all my work that I won't be posting as much for the next two weeks. This is a test. Just by watching how I decorate this cake, you have to guess what movie, book, TV show, person, celebrity it is based off of. So first I drew on the New York skyline, a brown couch and a white coffee cup. And then I did a purple border on the bottom and the top. Now, if you don't already know at this point, you'll probably guess when I start doing the writing, but if you don't, stay tuned for the answer. Happy birthday, Michaela. This is a test. Just by watching how I decorate this cake, you have to guess what movie, book, TV show, person, celebrity it is based off of. So first I drew on the New York skyline, a brown couch and a white coffee cup. And then I did a purple border on the bottom and the top. Now, if you don't already know at this point, you'll probably guess when I start doing the writing, but if you don't, stay tuned for the answer. Happy birthday, Michaela. 
Ever since I decorated this cake a couple days ago, I have been very curious as to why they wanted a goat drawn on top. And no judgment at all, I am simply curious. I mean, if someone ordered a cake with Olaf on top, I would think they would like Frozen. Or if they ordered a medical cake, I would either think they liked Grey's Anatomy or were a doctor themselves. But a goat is a whole new story. And they didn't even ask for it to be filmed for TikTok, so I'll forever wonder why Robert wanted a goat on his cake. Band, take a net, work them back, party back, no high. Have you ever missed a day of school to go to work? So I've missed a little bit more than a day. I missed two and a half months of school to work at the Dairy Queen. But there is a very good reason behind it. When COVID hit last year, Ontario schools announced that whatever grade we had before the pandemic was our minimum grade, meaning it couldn't go down no matter what. To all students at that point, school was optional. I had great grades before the pandemic, so I just left them there, didn't do any school, and- Hey everyone, so today I had two cakes to make for one of my regulars. I've made both of her kids' birthday cakes for the past few years now, and they always have really fun themes. This year her son wanted an Xbox cake and her daughter wanted Frozen, and I was actually more excited to make the Xbox cake because, fun fact about me, I'm super competitive and I like to play video games, if and when I have any free time. Like I would 100% rather play a video game than watch a movie. I'm gonna show you the Frozen one next, so let me know which cake you would rather have, or if you just prefer video games over movies in general. Why does everyone think that I'm blonde? I mean, there is nothing wrong with that, but every time I post a video of myself, people are always so shocked to find out that I'm a brunette. Another assumption that I always hear is about my height. Whenever I meet someone in person, they always thought that I was gonna be shorter, but I'm actually around 5'7". And the most surprising assumption was around my age. I'm 17, a senior in high school, but a lot of people thought that I was in my late 20s or even 30 years old. Have you ever had a customer that lets you custom their cake, but they end up hating it? So the majority of cakes that I do are customized. The customer usually gives me an idea and I work with it. For example, the cake right here, all they wanted was a crime scene cake and that was all I was told. So I drew on some caution tape, some footprints and the outline of a dead body. But to answer the original question, I have had no one tell me that they hated the cake that I decorated. I thought more people knew about this, which is why I've never talked about it in a video. But now that I've received a bunch of comments from people saying I'm lying in my videos or being dramatic for the sole purpose of views, I guess I'll talk about it. I live in Canada, a place where the creator fund does not exist. So regardless of how many views I get, whether it's a million or 10 million, I get no money off of it. And I'm honestly okay with it because I never get stressed over views and the sole purpose of any video that I post is to make people happy. Does my boss know about this account? Okay, I've been kind of scared to answer this question because they don't. I don't know how they haven't figured it out yet, but they've never brought it up to me, so I don't think they know. I'm sure half of you already know this, but that was a complete joke. My family actually owns the store that I work at, which makes my parents my bosses which means they obviously know about the account. In the beginning, they were unsure about TikTok, but now they honestly love the account. It's 6.30 a.m. and I can't sleep, so why not make a TikTok? We're gonna be making Cheesecake Named Desire ice cream cakes. First, we need to cut our yellow cake. We're gonna make a batch of two large and two small. So we cut our two large out of the corners and then flip over the long sides, and then we're gonna cut out our small rounds. Yes, the fourth one always looks funny but we don't want to waste any cake, do we? And then we're gonna have to pick up all these and then cut them all in half. And then you get your pans ready, and then we're gonna add the cheesecake ice cream and then some graham cracker pie crust and our first layer of cake. Then comes a raspberry mid-layer, more ice cream, more graham cracker, and more cake. 
And that's how you make a cheese egg named Desire. Make sure you put them in the blast so they can sleep at negative 20.